Now when I made my previous video about comparing my sleek new Apple Macintosh MacBook with a PC, the comparison PC was admittedly a couple year old uh, IBM ThinkPad. Um, so here's a, another PC that I own, a uh, Vista computer, a, a Lenovo IdeaPad, which is a pretty nice computer. It came out early this year, so pretty modern. So let's uh, do the same comparison. Let's actually do three things. We'll turn them on, we'll turn them off, and in between we'll play some uh, Tango instructional DVDs, just for an example of the different experience that you have with a Mac versus a PC. So first let's turn them on. The Lenovo turns on with a touch, as does the Mac. So Let's see how they go with a faster computer uh, on the PC side. I can tell you that since I've already tried this, the uh, startup time is going to be much uh, closer to the same, which makes the PC in a, in a better light, probably because the processor is different and also there's fewer startup programs. What I didn't mention in my first video is that part of the reason PCs start up slower is that really you need more stuff on the, the firewall on Windows is uh, not uh, adequate. Anyway, here we go. So they are together. The uh, Lenovo has a cute little uh, camera picture. It's still starting up. Uh, typically, there's always something. Uh, Adobe wants uh, me to do something. It's now starting up the Net Defense firewall. The Mac is all ready to go. Um, you, you really don't want to use the typical Windows firewall, so that's one reason PCs start up slower. But it, it wasn't a horrible difference. So now, one at a time, uh, let's just see what happens when we want to play an instructional DVD. In this case, uh, Volume 1 of Tango Fundamentals by uh, Salas. Very nice. So we have the DVD ready to go. First we see it's kind of a crude little slotty thing with plasticky push it in, expectantly wait. Of course now it's asking me if I want to do a backup, which I don't. PCs always seem to be asking you annoying little questions about something that you haven't done. So we hear the disk drive worrying away and we think, well, it uh, must be getting ready to, uh, to do something. You see the uh, disk light blinking away doing something, but nothing's happening, so eventually you realize that you could probably sit here all day and it's waiting for you to do something. So you realize that you have Windows Media Player on your computer. It doesn't look like it's going to start up on its own. So we double click it and up comes uh, pretty quickly the uh, something or other, the library. We kind of realize that it's now playing an unknown DVD. We click play and we think, what the hell? This isn't what we wanted. So we go back and we realize that we needed to have clicked the unknown DVD. Again, I haven't rehearsed this because I thought I wanted to play music. So uh, here we go, and now we're ready to do the uh, tango fundamentals and learn how to dance Argentine tango. The, uh, on the other hand, let's see how the Mac handles the same simple request. I've got the DVD in a different volume of the lessons uh, going. It's much sleeker, there's no little plasticky thing that comes out. You just slide it in. And let's see how uh, Macintosh uh, handles your request. We brighten up the screen by touching it. Hear a little subtle whirring. There's uh, no discernible dislike, but we see the DVD volume has popped up and I always figured out that I want to uh, play the DVD, not surprisingly, since I stuck it in the machine, and we're ready to go with uh, Lesson 1 of Volume 2. Put down here the 
similar sorts of looking controls, although I found that it's really quite a bit easier uh, to use than, than Windows. So we uh, jump out of the screen and now let's shut these two guys down. So we go down to the Windows uh, Start button. Over here, click on Shut Down and let's see how long this takes. We'll count just for the fun of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33, 34, 35 seconds to shut down. Go over to the Mac. You uh, click on the little Apple thingy up here in the corner. Click shut down. Ask me if I want to shut down my computer. And I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 seconds. So it's things like this uh, that repeated throughout the day that continue to make me happy that I have a Mac rather than a PC. Things just go easier with them. They uh, are more fun and you feel like the MacBook is a friend versus the PC is like, a, as I said in my blog post, a stick of dynamite or natural glycerin that's always ready to go off if you don't do the right thing. So uh, buy a Mac. You won't be sorry. Okay, I can't resist uh, one more comparison. After shutting them both down, I started them both up, got a web browser, Firefox with CNN on the PC, Safari with CNN on the uh, MacBook. Let's just show how they both uh, shut down. This is set to, uh, or to sleep, rather. Uh, we'll put the PC to sleep by shutting the cover. We hear a little beep light on the front starts blinking. We'll put the MacBook to sleep quicker. You see, instantly the light goes off. Now, uh, similarly, the uh, light on the front is going to blink in a second, showing that it's awake. So, and this is a common thing for a laptop user. You're trying to save energy, or you've taken it off to a coffee house or something, you want it to wake up. You uh, open up with the uh, PC, and first thing we see is that it isn't going to wake up on its own. It has to have a key pressed. So we'll give it the, you know, option. Press the key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That takes about nine seconds for CNN to come back up, get your desktop back the way that it was. The uh, Mac, on the other hand, which by the way is easier to pick up uh, because it has a little notch in the lid, uh, it's still asleep. Pick it up, one, two, three, uh, two or three seconds, it's ready to go. You don't have to press a key, it just knows when you lift the lid you want it to get back doing whatever you were doing. So just one more example of, of why all these little things put together help make a Mac book experience a lot more pleasurable to use than a PC, even a new one running uh, Vista Home Premium.